Welcome Body Rock, this is Coach Jenny here and today I'm going to lead you through a 12 minute lower body workout. All you're going to need today is your body, your A game and a core band. You're going to keep the core band on above the knee the entire time and at any point you feel it's a little bit too much, too overwhelmed, take the band off. It's okay, just follow me. Uh, body weight is just as awesome. We have four movements to get through today. 50 seconds on, 10 second transition, 3 rounds, 12 minutes of fun. Without further ado, we're going to get started. 10 seconds before we start, we have five curtsy lunges isolating on one side, and then we've got five squat abductions, and then five curtsy lunges on the other side. Keep alternating in three, two, one. So hips stay square. You're going to step back. You're going to come down, up, one, two, three, four, and five, and then you're going to sit down into a squat position, knees in and out, one, two, three, four, and five. And then come on all the way up over to the other side and then come down one two three four and five and then back down one two three four and five and then over up again to the other side and it's just keeping this movement we're moving through that frontal plane here and then also really working the side booty as you drive those knees in and out Feeling the burn already. This is only the first round. We got three rounds of these. All right. Next up, we got hip thrust. So you're going to head over to an elevation. So it could be a couch, chair, bench, whatever you got going on at home. We're going to set up the bottom of the shoulder blades. Or ladies, think about your bra strap on the edge. Feet are shoulder width apart. Shin is nice and vertical. You're going to lower down, come up. We're going to go for 10 reps. And then we're going to iso hold for 10 count. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and at the top here, we're gonna squeeze the butt really tight for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go for 10 again, lower up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and up. And hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Come down, up. Woo, glutes on fire already. We got glute kick kickbacks coming up. All right, we're gonna come into a quadruped position. So shoulder is stacked above the wrist, and you're gonna bring the band down to anchor the band, so it doesn't slide all over the place. And you're gonna kick back. So squeeze that butt at the top here. Come down and up. So we got 25 seconds on one side. Halfway through, I'm gonna ask you to switch. Okay, so really squeeze that butt as you kick your heel towards the ceiling. Okay, and you're not overarching the lower back here. Okay, you got five more seconds. And we're gonna switch, so let's get you anchor the bend down here, curl your back toe, and take it back. Again, squeeze that butt at the top. Okay, really feeling that burn. You got another 13 seconds. Eight more seconds here, and then we're gonna come on up for the lateral band locks. In five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. All right, let's get you come up to standing. You can always switch the band, or you can keep it, because the bands are honestly always rolls up anyway, so you can keep it. Come down nice and low in that catch position. We're gonna go five steps. So five, four, three, two, one. So always leading with the outside leg, keeping space between the legs, giving a jump squat. And then go head back. Five, four, three, two, and one. And jump squat. The jump squat too much, just give me a squat. Cool? Five, four, three, two, and one. And let's go jump squat. And as you step over, watch those knees. Don't let them collapse. Don't let them cave in. And go for that jump squat. Two, three, four, and five. Ooh, feeling that burn. 12 minute booty burn, here we go. Keep going. Where are you feeling it? Really feeling on the side booty hair. Whew. Almost there. All right, that's round one. We've got two more to go. We're gonna go back to those curtsy lunges to squat abductions. So feet are shoulder width apart, press your hands together, and step it back, 45 degree. Come down, one, two, three, four, and five, come down to the middle, sit down, in and out. One, two, three, four, and five. And then over to the other side, load, come down one, 
two, three, four, and five. Back to the middle, sit it down. Two, three, four, five, over to the side. Four and five, back to the middle, keep going. We got hip thrust coming up, and if the hip thrust elevation is too much, you can always stay on the floor for glute bridge. I'll show you both variations. All right, so both variations. So earlier we did hip thrust. Other variation, this is the modified. You're gonna come onto the floor. Peter shoulder width apart, press the lower back, come up, squeeze the butt, lower down and up. Okay, go for 10 reps. Hit rib cage, a stack, squeeze in that butt. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we're gonna squeeze and hold for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and back down. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back down, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woo, all right. Back to click kickback, so come into that quadruped position. You're gonna anchor the band, bring it down underneath the knee. Okay, abs stays tight, and we're gonna kick back. Okay, kicking to the ceiling, bring it in, all the way up, and really squeeze that butt at the top. 25 seconds on the side, and then halfway through, I'm gonna ask you to switch. Really feeling that burn with that kickback here. Okay, you got three, two, and one. All right, then you're gonna anchor it on the other side. Create a back toe, kick it back. 25 seconds this way. We've got those lateral band walks coming up with those jump squats. I don't know about you, but my booty is burning right now. You got 10 seconds. So you can always come back to this workout in the future when you get stronger, and this added weight into the workout. So with the curtsy lunges, add a weight in a goblet position. With the hip thrust, add a weight on your hip. All right, all right. I'm just gonna straighten out the bend, and again, it's totally optional. I'm OCD like that, so let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, come down, up, land, and go. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, if the jump is too much, again, just give me a squat. Okay, and always keeping space between the legs, toes are pointing forward, and back. Okay, stay low the entire time. Try your best not to stand. Okay, challenge yourself. Almost there. Let's finish round two. Nice and strong. Got five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. All right. Third set, best set. Back to those curtsy lunge to squat abductions. Get yourself ready. Three, two, one. Here we go. Come down for five, four, three, two, one, come to the middle, sit it down, and out. One, two, three, four, five, and over to the other side. Keep going, and sit down, in and out. Four, and five. All right, over to the other side. Four, and five, back to the middle. So after this workout, make sure Sorry, abduction. I'm doing squats there. Make sure you refuel yourself with sufficient amount of protein. So that's what a lot of female cl of clients that I work with, they usually struggle with eating enough protein. So important to get your protein in and prioritize them. So we're gonna go hip thrust. So again, you can always come down to the floor for glute bridge or come into this elevation. The elevation just gives you a little bit more range of motion to really hit your glutes a little bit more. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're gonna hold. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one, and back down. So how much protein should you be eating? It really depends on how much activity you're doing. Uh, someone like me, myself, I'm very active. So uh, I eat about 150 grams of protein per day, uh, 120 to 150. So basically you want at least, if you're not as active, 0.6 grams times your body weight in pounds. And hold, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, woof. All right, we got the kickback. So 0.6 grams to one times, to one gram of body weight in grams per day. So ideally you wanna aim for that on a regular basis, on a daily basis. And master that first. Now hitting 150 grams for me is easy, it's so easy. Protein also keeps you satiated. It gives your body the building blocks to build muscle. And as you age too, your body tends to lose muscle mass. And for a woman, we tend to uh, have a higher chance to develop osteoporosis, which is a higher, like more reasons why you should take up resistance training and also eating enough protein. You got 10 more seconds here. You got another five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. All right, come on up. We got those lateral band walks. So I'm gonna sit down nice and low. See how fast it took me to adjust my band? Takes practice. <laughs> Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a seat. Boom. Jump squat. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. And go. Okay, watch those knees. Don't let them collapse. Keep them out the entire time. Lead with the outside leg. Three, four, and five. Here we go. Boom. Okay, finish nice and strong. You got this. Get yourself a protein shake after this or refuel yourself with a nice protein salad. One, two, three, four, five, or have just a nice meal after. Gives you the body enough amino acids to recover as well. It also keeps you satiated, keeps you full, and that's it. Whew. That's what that was quick. That's a quick 12 minute booty workout, right? All right, thank you again for joining me for another workout. My name is Jenny, and by joining me, you allow me to live my dream every single day. Get yourself that protein shake. I'll see you in the next one.